is time for the video of the day. Actually, we should probably start calling these the video of the week, shouldn't we? Since I'm doing probably one a week. I don't always get the opportunity when I'm on the road to uh, to get Wi-Fi. I'm sorry. I just ate some peanut butter. And I love crunchy peanut butter. Creamy is okay. I can deal with that. But crunchy peanut butter is the absolute best. I love crunchy peanut butter. Problem is, get the nuts stuck in your... <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> you get the peanuts stuck... <laughs> that didn't come out right either. It gets caught in your molars. <laughs> I know y'all are watching this going, Greg, you got a dirty mind. <laughs> you don't want to laugh with it. Anyway, um, I, uh, I got a couple things I want to touch on. One of them is something that's very simple. Um, grammar. Oh, God, here goes the grammar Nazi. The grammar Nazi has arrived. Here he is. Okay. There are certain words in our language that are pronounced the same way, but are spelled completely different. For example, there, there, and there. All said the same way, all spelled different, all mean something different. Now let's take the first one. There, T-H-E-I-R, okay? That shows possession, okay? So that is their TV. T-H-E-I-R. Then there's T-H-E-R-E. It's over there. There, T-H-E-R-E, showing a, a, a place. And then, of course, there's T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. That's there. Okay? So use that one as a sentence would be, they are coming with us, meaning they are, because that's what T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E is, okay, it's actually they are, short, what do they call it, a conjunction, I think, hey, I'm a grammar Nazi, I don't know all the definitions, okay, so that's one, there's another one, it's only two words, it's your and your, now, once again, we're dealing with a conjunction here. There's your, Y-O-U-R, showing possession. Okay? That's your book. Okay? Then there's Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, which is actually you are. Okay? You are, or you're, reading the book. Okay? Shows action. The other one is two. Two and two. Two, T-W-O. Obviously, that's the number. Two. No, this two. Not peace. Two. And all you hippies out there going, yeah, peace, man. <laughs> far out, man. Far out. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm a little loopy. Anyway. Two, two, and two. T-W-O, of course, is the number two. T-O means... It, it's action. It's an action word. To. So I say, I'm going to the store. T-O. Okay. Now, there's T-O-O. -O. This can also be referred to as also. Okay. So if you say, I am going to the store. T-O. Someone else would say, I'm going to. T-O-O. -O. See, they could also say, I'm going also. Okay. Um, so. Wow. It just started raining like mad out here. Look at that. I run into a lot of rain being out here. So that's just a few of the things I wanted to go over with you. Hopefully that helps you. Um, starting, to, starting to really get on my nerves. It's part of trucking, so I have to, I have to kind of, I guess you could say live with it. Um, it's part of trucking. Wait. Okay, 
I've had people tell me, Greg, you don't have any patients. Well, listen, I don't have a PhD. I'm not a doctor. I don't have any patients, okay? I don't have enough patients to fill up a thimble. Honestly, I don't. I, I have no patience. There are some things that I have patience on. My wife and I have talked about this. There are things that she is real patient with that I'm not patient at all. And then there are other things where I'm patient and she's not patient at all. <laughs> Makes things very interesting. But waiting. I'm sitting here today. I'm waiting on my load to get loaded. Now, they had the load set up for me yesterday. I delivered this morning, dropped my trailer, picked up my empty, came over here. So this load was supposed to be ready to go yesterday between 3 and 5 p.m. I get in there this morning. They don't open until 7.30. I get there at 6 o'clock Central Time. I get there at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I decide, well, I'm going to go in and see. So I go in to see. And the guy said, well, what's your pickup number? I gave it to him. And he comes back over the window and goes, you're early. And I said, yeah. I said, I know you guys don't open until 7 o'clock. But I thought I'd get in here, you know, about 6 and get the load and get out of your way. And he's like, no. This load hasn't even been touched yet. They haven't even started loading it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Pickup time is usually between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. Great. So, I go ahead and drop my trailer. I put my trailer in the door for him. And I bobtail back here to the the uh, truck stop. Well, then I find out this load is going to be ready between 3 and 5. Yesterday. It was supposed to be ready yesterday between 3 and 5. But we weren't going to pick it up until this morning. If I could have picked it up this, this morning... Time is, I'd be back in Michigan to have it delivered by now. If I could have picked it up when I got when I got here, I'd be back in Michigan to have it delivered by now. I'd be on my way to Midland. Unreal. I hate waiting. I hate waiting in the fuel island too. I got down to Loves the other day. I was fueling my truck, and a Schaefer driver pulls into the fuel island next to me. He's playing around in his truck. He gets out of his truck, he's got his thermos in his hand, and he walks inside. Well, I used to work for Creed, so I know. You ain't got to go inside. You can do everything right at the pump. So I finish fueling. I pull forward like you're supposed to. It's courteous for your fellow drivers, courtesy. Let them get in there and fuel up while you're inside, get your receipt, your drink, whatever. So I go inside, get my receipt. I go over and I'm filling up my drink, and I look over, and here he is. Walking away from the front counter, walking into McDonald's. And I took my cup and I went up to the front counter. I'm sitting there looking at him, watching him walk into McDonald's. And I shook my head, and the lady at the cashier, she said, What's the matter? I said, That guy that just walked away from here walked into McDonald's. He's a Schaefer driver. He's sitting out there in the fuel island. Oh, is he blocking the pumps? I said, Yeah, he's right at the pump. Well, they, they did a call over the intercom. You know, if you're blocking the fuel island, please move your truck. They didn't get specific. He just kind of casually walks out of McDonald's, you know, looking around like he's got all the time in the world. He gets out the door before I do. I get over my truck. I lock the door, climb in, put my drink on the... Put my drink... I put my drink down here on the floor. Just, because that, just put it like right down there. Because that's, that's the best place to keep it because my cup is so big. But uh, I set my drink on the floor, climb up in the truck, and I'm looking at my mirror, and he's still, he ain't got in his truck yet. Finally, as I'm getting ready to pull out, he's climbing in his truck. I thought, well, at least he's gonna get out of the way. So I went back out, I went all the way around the driveway, came back out, went back up and got on the freeway. Well, as you're getting on the freeway going north, you can look over this way and you can see the fuel islands. I drove, I drove around the parking lot, back out onto the road, back out onto the main road, down to the freeway, looked over, and he was still sitting there. I mean, granted, folks, there were other pumps, and I do that. I'll admit, I do it. I, I take my break in the fuel island, 
But when I do it, I don't stop at the pump. I move forward as if I've just filled up. And then as I'm taking my break, I watch in my mirror. If somebody pulls into the pump behind me, I disappear. I'm not going to hold that guy up. Now, if I got a couple minutes, you know, if I got two more minutes left on my break, then I'll go ahead and I'll sit there and I'll watch him. Okay? The minute he hangs up that pump and climbs in his trunk, I don't care how many minutes I got, I'm gone. I'm getting out of his way. It's just kind of a courtesy. But that's that's something I get tired of waiting on to do. I had one one day where I pulled in and, and they had eight pumps and all eight of them had a truck in them. And not one of those eight trucks was fueling their truck. Uh, I, may, I may have mentioned that in a video before. Boy, that made me angry. Anyway, I babbled on for 11 minutes now. I think it's time for me to shut up. This has been your host for the video of the day, Greg. Saying thanks for watching. Please feel free to share this video, comment on it. You know, go to YouTube and, and, and copy copy the link off there. Post it on your Facebook page, Twitter, and whatever else. Um, get your friends watching. Make me famous. And I'll be sure to pat you on the back for it. I'll remember the little people. <laughs> That'll never happen. Anyway, so until next time, this is your host, Greg, saying thanks for watching, and see ya!